We've got a terrific book uh, report today. The book is titled American Indian Archery by Reginald and Gladys Lopin. Table of contents here. It's 175 pages. <clears throat> it's got 12 chapters. I'll read the chapters quick for everybody. Uh, you got the introduction, you got the history, you got comparisons of bows, you have a chapter on bow making and sinewed bows, you've got a chapter on horn bows. Uh, strings, arrows, quivers, shooting, medicine bows, uh, Indian crossbows, and then the last chapter is blowguns, stone bows, and harps. The introduction starts out like this. No one knows just when the bow and arrow came to America, but they were in use from the far north uh, to the tip of South America when white men first arrived. Over the hemisphere, the equipment ranged from very poor to excellent, and the finest bows of all were made in the northwest of North America. Some of these rivaled the ancient classic bow for beauty of design and workmanship. Here is a chapter on the history of the bow. It starts out with a, a, a Pawnee legend. It says here, the moon gave us the bow, the sun gave us the arrow. The book is full of all sorts of illustrations. Here's some illustrations of some uh, bows and some arrows in the uh, Mid-section of the book, there's this, uh, several color photographs of all sorts of stuff here. Here's a bunch of bows. There's uh, processing some sinew for a bow. More bows. Arrows. Uh, all sorts of stuff here. Quivers, how to uh, hold the bow, different uh, uh, arrow grips. Here's a chapter on bow making and sinewed bows. Uh, it may be of interest to uh, anybody who's uh, looking to make a bow or something. Another chapter here horn bows. Here's a chapter on strings. Starts out with uh, a little uh, information on strings. It says, not every man made his own strings any more than he made his own bows and arrows. There were men, usually older retired men, who specialized in making strings just as others specialized in making bows and arrows. Chapter on arrows. Like I said, there's a ton of information in this book. Here's some illustrations of some arrows and the uh, various arrow knocks. Chapter 8 is about quivers. There's some examples of uh, some quivers, some illustrations of quivers. Chapter 9, shooting. Information on shooting, uh, various um, types of releases. Got some pictures of uh, some fellas in here. There's a hunter on a horse uh, taking down a buffalo. Chapter 10, medicine bows. There's some illustrations of some medicine bows. And 
And this one, this chapter here kind of came as a surprise to me. Indian crossbows. Chapter 12, blow guns, stone bows, and harps. Got an illustration of uh, some blow gun darts. There's the back of the book. Uh, you'll see a glossary of all sorts of uh, uh, archery terms and, and what they mean. American Indian Archery by Reginald and Gladys Lopin. Uh, I'm not sure if this book is still in print or uh, available uh, at a bookstore, but I'm sure that uh, the library may uh, still carry this book or uh, on the secondary book market, you may be able to find this book. It's a great, great book. I enjoyed it quite a bit. Uh, it's just a little quick look at it. Uh, hopefully you'll enjoy it also.